Okay. Brothers and sisters, praise the Lord, this Apostle Oleg. And I want to share in this simplicity, this simple message um, about prayer. About prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God my hair is growing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, um, I want to share a, a powerful message. This is part one. Part one. Okay. Um, about prayer. Jesus says, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Then Jesus also said, Jesus also said, Ask that your joy may be full. Jesus says, whatever you ask in my name, I will give it to you. Jesus said it. Now, Jesus said it. Did Jesus lie? Did Jesus lie? No. So, let me cut to the chase. Question number one. Question number one. Hallelujah. Does that, what is inside of you, matches the answer that you're asking God? That's powerful right there. A lot of people, they ask God for, hey, I want this and I want this and I want this. But their head doesn't agree with their heart. Their head doesn't agree with their heart. Okay? So, um, they oppose themselves. How can the answer come to you from Jesus if you disagree with that answer inside of you well that's right there that's that's powerful how could the answer come to you see all the promises of god is yes and amen but how can how can the answer come to you when you inside of you you don't agree with it for example god says you are healed Isaiah 53, uh, uh, verse 3, 4, and 5 says, You are healed. But inside of you, well, I feel pain. Hallelujah. God says, By His stripes we were already healed. Not will be healed, but we were already healed. But inside of you, oh, how am I healed if I, if I feel, feel pain? Oh, oh, son. No, no, no. So, the enemy comes to do what? To steal. To steal what? To steal your confidence, your belief, your faith. First, in God that is inside of you, because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So, brothers and sisters, partners, friends, and everybody who is involved in some shape or form prayer warriors fasting people hallelujah does that what is inside of you matches the answer that you have been praying for is it that's the question many people disagree with themselves they disagree with themselves number two question what is your relationship to yourself? I kind of already hinted that many people disagree. Well, God says, you know, I will give you the riches of heathens. I will bless you. I will do all of everything. But you know what people tell me? Well, yeah, but you know, I have need of money. There you go. How can two, two walk together if they don't agree? They can't. They can't walk together. God says His promises is yes and amen. That's one. You say, well, I don't know. Economy is kind of bad. Well, I am sick. Well, I am this and that. They cannot, these two, these two cannot go together. So they go apart. Bible says, do not be unequally yoked. It says it. Right there. It says it. So every time you disagree with already answered promises of God that are yes and amen, those promises of God, the answers that God sent to you, 
are hindered by your first, your thoughts. As the man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Oh yeah, God told me I am going to be healed. God told me um, I am blessed. But as the man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So is he. If you think, if you think you're broke, you will never be prosperous. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Psalms chapter 1 verse 3. If you think you are sick, you will never get your healing and then even furthermore walk in divine health. Can two walk together if they disagree? No. No, my people perish for the lack of working knowledge of the Word of God. I have responsibility to teach and rightly divide the word of truth to the body of Christ. So, what is your relationship to yourself? I don't know, maybe your name is Irina. Does Irina agree with Irina? See, God is not, uh, doesn't have no problems with you. You have problems with you. That's powerful. That's powerful. That's powerful right there. If you hear, if you like what you're hearing, 469-450-6743. Support. So into this ministry. Hallelujah. But anyway, if your name is John, does John agree with John? God doesn't have a problem with John. John has a problem with John. So that's why I ask you, what is your relationship with yourself. Bible says, Second Timothy, they oppose themselves. People actually will oppose themselves. They say, oh, I believe in my heart. Oh my God, I believe in my heart. But in their mind, well, I really don't know about that. Well, uh, I think God can heal me. What do you mean you think? And you know what? With all due respect to you, what does it matter what you think? All matters is the word of what, what does the word of God says? What does the word of God says? But you see, your traditions of your mind has made the word of God of no effect. God says, I have healed you. God says, I've died for you. I, I shed my blood for you. I have, I have been crucified for you. Matter of fact, he healed all of your diseases and he forgiveth all of your transgressions. Psalm 103 verse, verses 1, 2, and 3. Oh, wait a minute. But, 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 but I still feel pain. Do you agree with your pain? Painful you will be. Well, but, 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 I got, I got, you know, I, I have a lack in insufficiency. Do you agree with your lack in insufficiency? You and lack and insufficiency will walk together. See, I am teaching you here in this session um, the law of agreement and law of disagreement. First, you need to be in a whole relationship with yourself. Some, some people are not whole. Some people are not whole. They believe God with their heart, but they doubt God with their mind. Jesus says, go home and be thou whole. Are you whole? Are you all one together? That your mind, your heart, your spirit, your soul, your bellies, your belly, out of your belly shall flow the rivers of living water, the bowels of mercy, your kidney. Mm. Do you agree with yourself? And I, you know what? And you know what? I'm going to quit here. This is part one of this teaching. Praise God. Um, I have audience here uh, in, this, um, in this private uh, residence. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I did want to make sure that this is recorded. Hallelujah. This is recorded. This is recorded. This is, this, what is your, what is your relationship to yourself? And what I said, does that, what is inside of you matches the answer you are seeking? <laughs> That's power right there. 
I believe God, but, well, that's it. What is inside of you does not match what God said. And what is your relationship to yourself? See, remember what I said. God doesn't have no problem with John. John has problem with John. And until, until you can solve this, that John has problem with John, or Janine has problem with Janine, you know what? God, all the promises of God is yes and amen. Yes and amen. They already answered. For, for his power and goodness has given us everything we need. Has given already past tense. But you see, but, but people say, but, but, there you go. Now, this is, this is part one. Part one about prayer. Part one, brothers and sisters. Please uh, listen to it again and over and over and over. Uh, in part two, we're going to touch the subject. Very important subject. We're going to go further in this. In part two, we're going to touch the subject of a double mind. Amen. Amen and amen. I'll see you next time. Amen.